So you're thinking of moving to South Florida and got your sights set on Hollywood? Well, you're in luck. That is exactly where I am right now. Uh, today in this video, we're going to dive into everything you need to know about Hollywood, including where it's located, what there is to do around here, some of its great neighborhoods, and uh, pretty much everything you need to know about the city of Hollywood. And even if you don't move here, you might want to spend some time right here in Hollywood, Florida. Now, as you can see here on the map, uh, Hollywood is huge. It has about 12 different zip codes and um, there's about 150,000 residents. So one of the larger cities here in the greater Fort Lauderdale area. So really you'll find plenty to do here in Hollywood. Everything is crammed into 30 square miles of uh, beautiful art venues, golfing, parks, and the beach, and especially the beautiful Hollywood boardwalk. Now, if you're asking yourself, what else is there to do here in Hollywood? Well, let's head over to downtown and find out. Okay guys, this is one of my favorite spots here in Hollywood. We are just east of uh, Dixie Highway and a little bit north of uh, Young Arts Circle. So you can pan around and you can see this area is really, really cool. A lot of outdoor, as you can see, little shops, little cafes, little boutique shops. Uh, let's check this area out. This is really, really cool at night especially. This reminds me uh, kind of like a Del Rey in a bit like Atlantic or some parts of uh, Lauderdale by the sea. It's kind of like a mini Greenwich Village. Uh, but let's just take a little cruise through here and look at some of these really cool shops, live music, all kinds of stuff. Definitely, even if you're just visiting, you gotta come check this part of Hollywood out. So like its California namesake, Hollywood, Florida is all about film. Uh, you can catch foreign art house films and local indie productions at the historic Cinema Paradiso or find a spot on the grass to enjoy weekly outdoor shows and events at uh, Young Circle Arts Park. So the Arts Park Amphitheater features a 60 foot by 40 foot main stage and also there's lawn seating that could fit about 2,500 people. Uh, there's also a playground which is really, really popular with youngsters. Uh, it has a very, very popular splash pad and it's definitely one of the busiest attractions at the Arts Park. Now the streets of downtown Hollywood are loaded with sidewalk cafes, tree-lined streets, uh, brick line walks, beautiful, unique boutiques, shops, art galleries, and uh, dozens of uh, beautiful, excellent restaurants. There's also live music on any given evening. Now, Hollywood is really into live entertainment. You have the Beach Theater. You also have the Young Circle Arts Park. And do not forget, uh, the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino is one of the main, main attractions here in Hollywood. Now we mentioned the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, so they spent 1.3 billion on an expansion project to its hotel and casino. They added a 450 foot guitar tower containing 638 rooms alongside a seven story, 168 room Oasis Tower, which overlooks the pool cabanas. This gives Seminole Hard Rock and Casino the nickname the Guitar Hotel and is one of the main attractions for people living here and also anyone visiting anywhere in South Florida. Now, if you're looking to buy a property here in Hollywood, uh, what does that look like? So as far as active, available condos they start in the one to two hundred thousand dollar range and this is going to go um for a 55 and over a uh, condo a real small condo community all the way up to around 7.7 .7 million 
uh, for a custom six bedroom, 5,000 square foot oceanfront, uh, you know, luxury penthouse right on the ocean. And as far as single family homes that are available and active right now, you can get a starter home, you know, under 1,000 square feet for somewhere in the $300,000 range. And uh, single family homes will go up to around six to eight million. Uh, this will be for a waterfront estate with ocean access, no fixed bridges, uh, just a custom built, beautiful house. So what about some of the cons of Florida? So here on a personal note, one of the reasons I hate coming down here are these two buildings, one there and one here, and kind of fitting that we're here right now, uh, kind of at the time when we're all worried about the real estate market. Well, back in 2005, I think it was, or four, I had bought two condos, two units in this building or in this development and um, market crashed and I lost them both. So it does happen, guys. Um, let's just hope that doesn't happen again with the market. So just trying to be transparent here, guys. It happens to everybody. No one really knows the market. I wish I could buy that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm in the right place. What's that? I'm in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of suits on my place. I hear you. Same here. <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. Now, the other con of Hollywood, Florida is the traffic, guys. It is brutal, especially from 95 down Hollywood Boulevard or Pembroke Road down to the beach. Any city down that's on the east side is going to have a lot of traffic, but Hollywood is really, really tough. Another thing about the market I was talking about, and I mentioned on a few of my videos, you can see that big building right there behind me. I'm not sure if you can see that one behind me this way that's under construction. Uh, we passed another one before. Those are all rental complexes, guys. Luxury uh, rentals. So that's becoming a huge deal all over South Florida. All right, everybody, we're gonna wrap it up right there. We got some weather coming in. We have a tropical storm out there uh, by Puerto Rico affecting us. The sun is down. It's a little bit cooler, which is really cool. So if you're looking at something to do or you're already here in Florida, Hollywood is a great place to hang out and to live. I'd love to be your real estate resource if you're thinking of buying a property here. So reach out anytime. I'm here to answer any questions and to make your transition to South Florida a smooth one. Until the next video, guys, take care. I appreciate you watching.